Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again for our time together. Looking forward to seeing you in the services all this weekend as I preach about Paul's day in court. (laughs) It's going to be an interesting but a little unusual study. Right now, I want us to come back to the book of Mark, chapter 14. Just returning from Israel, there are... There are things you think about in Israel as you walk around the places where they occurred that you might not think about other places. Each year as I walk around the Garden of Gethsemane, I I think what it must have been like. Each year as I walk through Caiaphas' courtyard on our way down to the dungeons, I, I think about what it must have been like. In Mark 14, beginning with verse 27, Jesus told them, You will all fall away, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. But after I have risen, I'll go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter declared, even if all fall away, I will not. (laughs) I tell you the truth, Jesus answered, today, yes, tonight, before the rooster crows twice, you yourself will disown me three times. But Peter insisted emphatically, even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the others said the same. Now later, beginning in verse 66 through down through 73, we find the story of he did it and he went out into the night. And that was a long night for Peter as he began to weep. I think the truth I want you to see is this. Oftentimes we delude ourselves into what we think our level of commitment to Christ is. And we're very good at saying this is how committed we are. But in the time of pressure, we find out the truth, that our, our commitment, our love is not where we think it is and where we have proclaimed it is. Peter spent the night weeping as he had to face the reality of himself. And he wept again along the shores of Galilee when Jesus said, Do you love me, Peter? Do you agape, the highest form of sacrificial love? Peter said, yes, Lord, I phileo, I have a fond brotherly affection for you. Second time, Peter, do you agape? Yes, Lord, I phileo. Third time, Peter, do you phileo? And that's when Peter breaks down and weeps. Because Jesus comes down to his level of love. Jesus comes down to his level of commitment and said, Peter, the requirement is the same to feed my sheep. But I'm glad you face the fact of where your heart really is. The first step of spiritual growth is to be honest with ourselves, to stop the branding, to stop the, the posturing, to stop the, the, the declarations of faith that are not reality, and to face ourselves where we really are and understand that wherever we are in our commitment, wherever we are in our love walk with God, the requirements, the commands are still the same. But he will meet us where we are and he will grow with us. Now, brothers and sisters, that should be something that should give you hope. But first, face the reality. When I was a young man, I thought I was so committed and so dedicated. And after you get beat up a little bit in life, you begin to realize God is faithful. Even when I'm faithless, He's faithful.